Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, we're going to get into our last lesson of the chapter before our test on Thursday. Uh, this one is a review, thankfully, but it's what, what we're doing is we're taking transformations like rotations where you uh, turn the figure, uh, translations where you slide the figure up, down, left, right, uh, and then also the reflection where you're flipping the figure. And we're going to take two of those at, uh, at the same, on the same problem. And so we're going to have to be careful about what rules we use and uh, what order we do those in. Okay, so here we're going to look at um, a figure. If you draw me a coordinate plane, go 5 by 5 by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and we're going to draw a figure here. We're, we're going to do two of these examples because I think you guys can handle it. It's GDL. G is at negative three, negative two, negative three, negative two, that's G. And I'll put that up here, G is at negative three, negative two. And then D, L. So notice if you're seeing my homework and how I, when I work it out, I write all the coordinates, I show the transformations, and then I um, graph them on the paper as well. <clears throat> so D is going to be at negative 4, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So down here, this is D. And then L is going to be at negative 1, negative 5. 4. Oh, and it was negative, excuse me, negative 5. So negative 4. Make sure here. Nope, negative 4, negative 4. I had it right the first time. 4, negative 4, that's D, negative 4, negative 4, and then L is at negative 1, negative 4, negative 1, negative 4, and that forms your triangle. Okay, so what we're going to do with this triangle is we're going to transform it twice. The first transformation is they want you to translate it 5 units to the right. So we're going to translate 5 units to the right. So how would that change? Uh, what rule would that be? Well, that would be x comma y. And if I try to change it to the right, that changes the x coordinate. x is left and right, y is up and down. So the x coordinate to the right, uh, 5 would be plus 5, and nothing happens to the y. So I have to add 5 to each x coordinate and leave the y coordinate alone. So 5 plus negative 3 is 2, negative 2. And then 5 plus negative 4 is 1, negative 4. And then 5 plus negative 1 is 4. And then keep the negative 4. So let's see if that translated all the units to the right. Five spots. So 2, negative 2. And that would be G prime. 1, negative 4. 1, negative 4 would be D prime. And then um, 4, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 would be my L prime. And is that that same figure there? That looks about right. So that's translated to the right um, 5 units. But then I'm going to reflect over the X axis. I'm going to reflect these over the X axis. So I'm, I'm going to write these here. So... We had 2, negative 2, and then we had 1, negative 4. I'm not writing in the wrong spot. Nope. Okay, thank you fully. And then 4, negative 4. So we're translating, the, translating these uh, over the x-axis. So x comma y. And if you remember the rule, for the translation of the x-axis, um, x values stay the same, but the y values get their signs flipped. So x stays the same, y's get their signs flipped. So you change the sign of the y. So you should get 2, 2, and then 1, 4, and then 4, 4. And that's for D, oops, G, D, L. All right, so 2, 2, 
one, two, one, two, that's G. This time we're gonna call it double prime because it's the next movement, it's the second movement. And then D is one, four, one, four. That's D prime, double prime. And then L is going to be four, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's L prime. Okay, and that's the figure. And that one, it got flipped, flipped on the x-axis. If I fold that in half, that's the new figure. So that's what you're doing. I wanna see the three figures, the primes and the double primes labeled carefully, and also their transformations um, using their um, rules, okay? So that's that first example. The next example we're gonna do, we're gonna be dealing with this transformation, which I wanna make sure you guys get. Um, translating over the line y, uh, y equals x, which we looked at on the first video of translating, but we didn't do any problems. Now we're gonna do some a problem on that. So on this one, let's look at this figure right here. I'm just making sure I get this one right. Okay, let's go five by five again. Okay, so that figure, and then it's another triangle. Make sure I say these right. Um, so I'm trying to see where these are. A is that, okay, we're not gonna do that one because that one, Yeah, that one's gonna be a little tough one there. Okay, sorry. Um, let's do this one. Um, they didn't give me a good one to work with. Okay, this one might need to go a little bit further out, but we'll we'll work it out. So number, uh, so B is gonna be negative one, one. Negative one, one, that's B. Sorry guys, I thought I had a good one there, but I didn't. Then we're gonna go negative six, zero. Negative one, two, three, four, five, and we'll add one more, six, zero. That's gonna be my um, A point. And then we'll go with C is negative four, negative five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. That's gonna be my C. And you can see this is a triangle. Okay, so here what we're gonna do is we're going to reflect it. Make sure I say this right. We're gonna rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. So I'm gonna write the rules where you guys can see them here. So we're gonna go A, B, and C, and we're gonna write down where those points were, and then we're gonna we're gonna do those rotation, that rotation, that reflection or translation. So A was at negative six zero, B was at negative one one, and C was at negative four negative five. Okay, so the first one is gonna be a 90 degree clockwise rotation. So 90 degree clock clockwise. Nope, it's counterclockwise. 90 degree counterclockwise. That is the rule x, y. So x comma y. They switch up. And I gotta make sure I say this right. They switch up and the y changes its value, so negative y, x. That's for 90 degrees counterclockwise. So they switch and the y changes signs. So this one becomes zero, negative six. So nothing changed on the sign of y because it was already zero. This one changes to negative one, negative one. And this one changes to positive five, negative four. So let's go ahead and graph those. So zero, negative six, 
that's going to be my a prime negative 1 negative 1 that's going to be my b prime and then 5 negative 4 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 that's going to be my c prime and that's going to be a rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise so it just shifted 90 degrees counterclockwise and then we're going to do we're going to do this one that we haven't looked at it's a reflection so it's a reflection we'll talk about this real quick uh, over line y equals x okay so that's saying if there's a line that had a slope of one so here's the line Normally we do a reflection over the X or over the Y, but there's also this diagonal line that we're going to reflect over. So we're going to take this figure and reflect it over this way. And the rule for this one, so this is a new one you have to know. So the XY changes to y, uh, YX. So the, the two coordinates switch, but none of the signs change. So it just gets a swap there. So here I'm going to transform again and I'm going to make it switch to the y-axis. So here's our coordinate. So it becomes negative 6, 0. This next coordinate switches negative 1, negative 1. So nothing changed on that b prime prime. And then negative 4, 5. Okay, so here I'm going to put those new points. And they're going to be my b double prime. So I have negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0. So that's going to be my a double prime notice that's where a was already so we got flipped back there negative one negative one that's my b prime prime and um, notice that's where b already b prime was so b prime didn't move and then negative four five one two three four one two three four five that's going to be my c double prime and let's connect these Right, so you see that one got reflected on this line, and this is the new location. And if you're like, Mr. A, I don't know what points you're talking about because they're all in black. Well, this is how I check to see that you put the points where they belong based on that those coordinates. So this is showing me the work, and this is drawing the graphs. And that's what you're going to be doing today. You're going to be combining transformations and ending up with an, a final one right here. Use these rules and show me the steps. But then also remember there's a new one here. If you're reflecting over y equals x, it's xy becomes yx. You just switch the coordinates. So there are a lot of rules to, um, to remember. But hopefully you guys will practice those and get those down for the test on Thursday. Your homework today is going to be... Um, 6 through 10 all, 6 through 10 all, and that's going to be on page um, 322, and I want to say one word because I saw one that might be a little tricky. Um, on number 6, each of those tick marks go by 2, so if it's in between 2 and 4, then you're gonna use the number three, right? So it's right in between, so make sure you know what the ticks are going by. And I think, I think you should be good on these. Um, and again, if you have questions, I'll be available um, today, uh, Google Classroom, but also tomorrow, you can ask questions during the optional review session. At, I think for you guys it's one o'clock. So just make sure you guys ask questions. If you don't know what to do, I'll be here grading your quizzes and hopefully getting those to you by the end of the day. All right, take care, guys.